COVID-19 impact on the low-rise rental market? Hi there, I'm Nawar Naji, a real estate broker with Chestnut Park Real Estate in the city of Toronto. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, make sure you click on subscribe and that bell button to get notified of my videos. Now, before COVID-19, there were two groups of people in the city. I'm speaking for the 416 here only. There were homeowners who were doing uh, extensive renovations to their houses, such as underpinning, extensions, and doing top-ups, second or third floor, and home buyers who were doing the same thing. They were buying these houses in the city, but not necessarily moving in right away. So they would either stay in their home or rent a place for a few months but take on extensive renovations before moving into their new home. With COVID-19, an interesting pattern has developed. As you might know, the trades, the general contractors, the landscapers, the um, swimming pool companies have been extremely swamped. They've had significant increase in their business over the last few months. And the reason is people are not spending money on vacations, travel, you know, eating out, that type of stuff but have diverted their uh, expenditure into their homes. And this is why there's that massive uptick in the renovation business. What I've observed over the last little while is the strong demand for short-term rentals. And I'm not referring to the uh, Airbnb type of, you know, one or two nights, one or two weeks type of rental. However, in that, you know, four months, six months, eight months rentals, because the homeowners or the home buyers are not obviously living in their houses because they're taking on these extensive renovation projects and they need a place to stay. So I'll give you an example. Last week or a week and a half ago, I rented the main upper floor of a duplex. So the basement um, had a long-term tenant, one year lease, everything was set. But the main upper, which is a three bedroom, one and a half bath, Within one week, there were six inquiries for short-term rentals. And again, not one or two nights. Four months was the minimum and up to nine months for people looking um, to stay until they complete their renovations or building a house from, from scratch. The uh, Overall, the house rented for um, just under 3,300 and downstairs of 1,450. So the duplex, or the two unit house is generating over 47, just under 47.50 a month. Now you're thinking, what does that exactly mean? The 4,750 bucks a month of rental income, that would carry a $1.1 million mortgage at today's interest rates. So if you're buying a semi-detached property today in the city of Toronto, and that 1.2 and the 1.3 range, and you're putting your 20, 25% down, that revenue would would be enough to to cover the mortgage so you'll be in a strong uh, cash flow position the other thing to look at is you can go uh, short-term uh, rental and again i'm talking a couple months here furnished or unfurnished now this specific unit's you know, rented unfurnished just under 3300 however you can consider furnished rental and i have some clients who are renting their uh, in that case it's a full house for over six thousand dollars a month um, in the uh, Leslieville Upper Beaches area. So there's definitely opportunities in this city. Now, when it comes to real estate investing, there are multiple types of investing. You can invest in condos. You can do, you know, build and flip. You can do these buy and hold long term. You can do the short term rental. Um, and I'm not again. I'm not referring to Airbnb type of style. Some people do Airbnb. So there are lots of different opportunities. And if you are considering investing in real estate and not sure where to start, especially now with this COVID-19 and how things have changed and moved with respect to the condo market, to the low rise market, to the 905 market, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to share my thoughts, insights, and my experience as a real estate investor with you. Last but not least, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, happy investing.